Hey, I'm Tom Ross. And I'm Brian Brown Doing. You're watching the Versus series on StarCityGames.com. All right, let's go ahead and uh, low roll to see who goes first. Might as well. Oh, nine. Ooh, couldn't get you. Gotcha. Oof, wow, buddy. Geez. That's a skill. <laughs> so, that was a skillful low roll. All right, what do we got here? Come on, white cards. That's awful. Uh, they only had 19 lands. really need a... Uh, more gas mug in this. Alright, my hand is uh, pretty mediocre, but I'm going to keep it. Just hope to get there. Seems like hands with one drops, but need more follow up. Whatever. Got some creatures, got some lands. Alright, All right, that was a good draw. Let's start with this and say go. Play this. Hot one one for do. Okay. <laughs> uh, draw. Um. I'm not sure when I'm gonna have time to flip this thing. So I'm actually gonna just cast a hidden dragon slayer. Ooh, I'm attack. So I'm at nineteen, and I'm done after that. Ooh, that Probably nothing. Whatever. Falconer? Yeah. Sure. Your turn. I'll draw. And we'll scry. Sweet. And it's uh, another land which you can just put on the bottom. I'm actually going to attack with my Dragon Slayer. This smells like a Dramokas command. I'm going to take it. Alright, I am going to... Kill my Phalanx Leader. It's strong. Yeah, I'm going to put a plus one, plus one counter and fight the Phalanx Leader. So You're I'm going to gain 25. six life total. So I'll be at 25, you'll be at 17. Your turn. Now what? I could outlast on your turn. Hmm. I'm just gonna play another Falconer just because it's okay. efficient on my mana. 23. Go. My, my go. Yeah. Alright. Uh, draw a card. Hmm. Play Urborg and cast Liliana and attack for three. So when another creature dies, you flip it and you get a zombie? Yep. Alright, I'll take that thing. Alright, so 26 to 14, I'll play an Elvish Mystic. Your turn. Yeah. And this actually says 2 2, but it's actually a 2 3 with lifelink. Oh, right. Okay. Leon over there. <laughs> uh, yeah, she. It's plus two. We both discard a card. Minus X, put a creature, convert a mana cost X into play, non legendary. And her emblem is eight, which is whenever a creature dies, it comes back to my control, under my control. Okay. And what? I don't know what. <laughs> Outlast that. Attack with this. I guess it's a three. Yeah, it's a three four. Um, I'm gonna. Two cards left. Yeah. Uh, I'll walk with Elvish Mystic. Alright. Alright, so this is going to die. This is going to transform into the Planeswalker. 
So it sacrifices and it comes back as a planeswalker. Okay. And, and then zombie. and I get a two two zombie. All right, your turn. All right, untap, draw. Mass Collective Company. There it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that was <laughs> Not very good. Um, I can't attack into that Falcon Arx. It's a three, four. So I think that I'm going to. Two cards. Yep. Uh, I'll plus the Liliana for five. With we'll this card, card. Let me decide here. Let's do. Whatever. I'll just okay. discard another Liliana. Uh, it'll be your turn after that. I should cast this card, but whatever. I think I want to outlast put a counter on my Falconer. They're better use the use the gleam. Yeah. Yeah, they're both three fours so now. This is a quite a bigger. Hard yep. to keep track, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, cast some creatures. Cut. Jesus. Say uh, four, four or five, yeah. I want to leave this Absent Falconer back or not. Maybe. This one's definitely going to attack Gloriana. Cut both of them. Three four looks pretty good on this board. Fourteen to two three ain't bad either. Okay, I don't think it's gonna take the attack. Maybe it should bolster. What if I just bolster? yeah, I'll just bolster this. Okay. Don't attack Liliana. Okay, Liliana does. I'm not gonna sit back a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, go. Alright, on top, draw. Uh Cast Nissa. Okay. Get a forest. Um, play an Elvish Mystic. I'll scry with Temple of Melody. And bottom it. Can't attack, so I'll say go. Oh, I'll put a counter on my. Cast this, bolster one. Bolster sure. That guy. So I got some four, five, to the six, seven now. For the time being. I don't think there's any point of holding lands. I would just get by, by Liliana. I'll just play it. I can almost hit you in two shots. Blocks. I lost track. Six, eight. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so I'm at 18. Okay, go. Okay. This is slightly more conservative. I'm trying to kill him in three turns uh, as opposed to not leaving back blockers and going for two turns. Hmm. I figure he's eventually going to find a way to kill my Absent Falcon, and I'll need other creatures in play. Let's see. So, next turn, you're going to have one, four, this is five, five. Nine. This is nine damage, and then it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight plus nine is seventeen. So I think you're one short of killing next turn. Probably. Probably uh, did any spell though. All right, I'll cast Fleece Main Lion and Monstrous Fleece Main. 
All right. I'll say go. You got to do that. They're creatures. All right. Go for this. Boba. It's only creatures you control, right? Yep. Oh, no. Right. Uh, I guess I'll be conservative. This will be a... What if you kill two creatures? Uh, six, nine, ten. So much math everywhere. Nine, eleven. If you kill two creatures magically, I will die. How the heck do you do that? I don't want to take these. <laughs> okay. So four, five, six, four, five, six, and then four, five, six, seven, six plus seven, thirteen. I don't know if one's worth it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, thirteen over there. Yeah, this is this is six, and then this guy is uh four, five, six, seven. So yeah, thirteen total. And I go to five. Okay, go. Cool. Alright, need to draw something. Oh, no. Not that. Yeah, I'm dead. Alright. I'm on six and two, three, four, five, six. Alright, this is a much better six than the seven I had. So, I was supposed to go. Uh, oh, oh dear. Yeah. He is favored. I will fetch. Hmm. I have to figure out what the best play is. Uh, I guess I'll fetch a Plains of Cast of Mist. Okay. And I'm done. Uh, I think I do extremely need to land here. So I guess some from green in my upkeep. Okay. So I can scribe before I draw. I'm not there anyway. Alright. Kick in. 2 1. Sure. I guess my 2 3 pro green is going to hit you. Alright, I'm at 17. Your turn. Draw. Um. Hit. I don't know if I really want to attack. I kind of just want to stay back on defense, I think. Alright, I'll cast Elvish Mystic and Policeman. Your turn. Alrighty. Plant. Rats. Really want to be attacking. But what can you do? Go. Alright. Seeker, go. Draw. Seventeen all. Yep. Go ahead. Good card. Mm. All right, all right. I can decide if I want to attack him or not. Guess. Sadly, probably not. So how does this work? Is when he? Huh? Do you have uh, to deal with combat damage? No. If I attack with three creatures at the end of com, if at I attack with two other creatures at least. At the end, end of combat, combat exile okay. it and print back into play transform. Sure. Um, what kind of sucks is if I ever put a one one counter on it, when it flips, it'll be gone. Oh well, what can you do? Ugh. Okay. Ugh. You can do block, block this. You went there. You went there. Whatever. That's the battle. Attack with everything? Yeah. Okay. Um. Next 
Gideon has how much loyalty? Three? It starts with three, yeah. Okay. It has a plus two and a plus one. All right, I'm going to put this here and this here. I think I want to pass to him because I think I'm better off if he doesn't do anything. But yeah, I'll pass to you. Oh, uh, no monsters my line. All right, now I'm going to, I guess, bolster. Okay. Oh my god, live. Okay, so Seeker dies. You gain. I take uh, three, four. Yeah. So I'm at 13. Uh, you gain three up to 20. Seeker dies. He transforms. Come can attack Gideon. I can untap. Come get indestructible and untap it. So I'm give this indestructible and untap it. Okay. There we go. If he has to have that charm, I'm, I'm toast. Draw. Poof. Not quite. Um. Send both of these at Gideon. So wait, Gideon becomes a four four, just a four four, right? Uh, yeah, damage. Dealt to it is prevented. It's indestructible. Uh, I'm actually not going to attack. I'm just going to play a lion and play a morph. Good. Okay. Your turn. He has no ultimate. Um. So it becomes indestructible to your next turn? Yep. Okay. I'm whacking you for four? Uh, yes, I'm at nine. All right, your turn. No, that's a charm. Retapping with Gleam of Authority. <laughs> Alright, I'll attack Gideon with. It's not really left, is it? It does, it does work, actually. Attack Gideon with these three. Boom, I think he's just going to die. I'm not going to throw away this Falcon. Uh, i make him use Fleece Main Line right here. It happens, he might just die. I bought that for this. Okay, that's fine. Gideon, Gideon dies. Uh, it's your go. Tech, yeah. Three, four. This four and this one is. Four and both four. Uh, I guess. See if you block. Currently it's eight damage, but let's okay. go past blockers right quick. Uh, I'm not gonna block. Okay, I'm gonna. They both same toughness. I lost it. No, this one's bigger. So I guess I'll bolster this up. Um. So now it's ten damage from eight. I'm gonna unmorph him, Dragon Slayer, and kill Ooh. this. Oh no. Oh wait. If I cast God Toy. What sucks is my gleam falls off. Move three. Yes, one short. Come 
Oh, I think my queen's gonna fall off. Okay. Yeah, yep, it's eight. Two one. Not one. There you go. I don't know what I can even hit, but I'll pass clock to company. Hey. Pretty sure I'm just dead though. Weird paradise. Uh, hit these two. And. That don't do nothing. Yeah, I'm dead. Falconer OP. Yeah. <laughs> losing the Falconer. Alright, we're back for sideboarding. Uh, I'm going to be bringing in more removal spells. Basically, both of those games, I think I would have won if I had just drawn an Abzan Charm or a Valor Stance or like just one piece of removal to kill the guy. And uh, I'm pretty sure that I would have I been able to win. Um, cutting. One company, because also, I'm also cutting four creatures, and I don't want to flood on companies with the, that are more likely to hit less creatures. And I'm actually citing out Liliana because it didn't seem very good against this deck. Uh, I think Liliana is probably good against uh, more grindier decks, but not when your opponent's just trying to kill you. Yeah, the zombie didn't seem relevant. Actually, the Planeswalker didn't seem all that great either. Not Definitely not in this matchup, yeah. Uh, as for me, I am taking out my Ordeal Heliods. I didn't draw them. Either of the previous two games, but still, I don't think there would have been that good. Um, this isn't very, it isn't very racy of a match. Either I'm a win through the air, or I guess not. Um, he, I pretty much bring in a giant's presence against most matchups, I imagine, because most matchups are going to bring in more removal, and that's just you know, good card against removal. The Falconer seemed great in the matchup. Any creature, Death Mist Raptor, Ground Stall deck. Yeah, basically, I think I would have won both games without the presence of Abzan Falconer. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um, I'm just going to bring up Brimaz. It's not all that great against uh, Death Mess Raptor, but it's probably decent if he doesn't have a Raptor. And it's just another creature. I, I want a good saturation of creatures when uh, my opponent brings in removal. Seems good. Uh, and I would bring in Hornet Nest, except his game plan is Abzan Falconer, so I don't even want to mess with Nest. All right, this hand is, uh, actually seems pretty good, so I'm going to keep it. They're up. I guess because took out some Seekers and been alright. Uh, yeah, I'll take them out afterwards. Uh, scry, and I just want to draw land, so I'm going to bottom that. So I'm going to play this. Your turn. Did I, did I trade with an Elvish Mystic? I think I would. I'm, I'm going to try to trade. Whoa. Um, what do I want to cast? I think I want just a bunch of creatures in play, but I definitely want a creature that can attack next turn. Let's try this one. Seeker, sure. Let's draw. Mm, we did not get there. I will play Fleece Moon Lion. You're up. Might have been greedy to trade my Elvish Mystic, but I think just getting his creatures off the table as soon as possible is the best thing I can do. Hmm. I guess I'm not attacking this turn. Maybe next turn. Let's go. Probably gonna murder my leader. It's kind of unfortunate. Drew the land, which is nice. Nice. Um, how much let's fetch? I'm at nineteen. Good plans. Uh, how many cards do you have? And yeah, I need to kill that leader, so I'm gonna put a counter on this and fight Phalanx leader. So I could have uh, waited till I could target it when I cast it, but uh, go. It was a good upside if you didn't kill it, though. Might have been real far behind. Um, what do I want to do? Sure. He means something. Probably gonna be. Four, four. Let's see. Yeah, three, three. So here it'll be. Four. Be a four. 
Right here. Sure. Alright, so it's a 2 3 right now. Yep. You can make it a 3 4 if you tap it. Right. Uh, if you target something with it, then that's probably okay. Uh, I'll block. Alright, go. Alright. <laughs> draw. Um. I'll say go. Ooh. I'm just going to tap. Oh. Ooh. Great card. Sure. Oh, wait. Oh, man. No, I screwed that up. Do you want to take that back? Yeah. I think I just want to bolster first. Alright. Don't cast it. Sure. Since when it flips, uh, don't get the counters. Uh, I'm not going to do anything. Go. Uh, end of turn, I'm going to try to abs. End of turn, I'm going to exile that guy. Oh, made it bigger. Alright. Good. Alright. Draw. Okay. Might be able to get a Gideon here, but that's I think okay. Let's play Deathmaster Raptor and say go. Yeah. Creature's so big. How would you block hot today? Probably like this, maybe not. But probably. Alright, there we go. Get to get to flipping. Okay. Um you can make that indestructible, so there's no point blocking it. I'm just going to block. Oh, he might have like a Johnny's presence, which is kind of gross. Might. Kind of want to save my lion. I think I just. I think I just block like this. I drew it to five strike, so let's do that. Okay. Ooh. Perfect. Okay, it's gonna take six damages. Uh yes, yeah, six. Yep. So it's thirteen for me. Is that right? Yeah, I'm at twenty-four. Oh, He's trade. This is Gideon. Yep. Let me think. I can make you attack Gideon if I wanted to. I don't really want you to. If you think you're gonna do it anyway, yeah, make make that attack give you. Cut. Cast this Falcon here. Sure. We go. Alright, big draws. But whatever. Hmm. Attack. Get in. I'm not blocking. Okay. He takes four. Don't want. Um. Hmm. That'll be pretty sweet without last. I gotta say. I'll play a morph, and I'm going to glare something. I think it's the seeker, but I'm not sure. Fair enough. Yeah, I'll glare the seeker. Your turn. Might be a mistake to not touch that Aldon Falconer, but. So that's going 4 or 5 after that Falconer. That could be cool. Huh. So that one's a bit. Move this. It's in the 
think it's so you have to attack. If you want to kill Gideon, you have to throw this thing away. I mean, you already used Gideon's ability. Yeah, but imagine you're just going to attack it anyway. Oh, uh, okay. Probably better than a counter or three damage. Okay, yeah, I'm done. Alright. Let's untap and draw. It's not a bad one. I'll unmorph. Ten protector. Returning death mist raptor. To play, getting back letter of heresy and attempting to glare the falconer. Okay. Okay. Alright, it has protection from white. Um no point in attacking. I guess I can still. I guess I can kill your Gideon. Yeah. I block the protector. Alright, that protector does. Gideon does. Your turn. I don't think I can race with just this thing. Guess I gotta try. Alright, your turn. I'm at ten. Fuck. Go. Sure. Hypothetically, kill you in two turns. Guess we'll draw a spell. Clock the compound. Sweet. Best creatures ever. I'm just gonna take two warden first trees. Uh-huh. Attack you. Seventeen. Go ahead. Oh, spell. I think I win if I draw a spell. Mm. Mm. Whatever. Seven. Uh, level this guy up. Tight. He is level one. Why even hit you for ten? I think I can if I draw into Johnny's presence. It's kind of sweet, actually. Let's see. Play Nessa. How does Nessa flip? When I play my seventh land. Mm, okay. What does Nessa do? <laughs> uh, that's not written on the thing. It's uh, starts at three loyalty. It's minus two. Put a four, a legendary four four into play. Okay. Uh, plus one. Reveal the top part of your deck. If it's a land, put it into play. If it, otherwise, draw it. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna play the land and flip Nessa. And I'm gonna plus one. Uh, so draw a Nun Protector. Okay. Um. Attack. Let's see. Attack, attack, attack. Maybe. Yeah. Two at 17. Yeah, it's attack like this. Whatever it is, I'm taking it. Alright, I'm gonna make this guy a trample lifelink. So, ten. three, six. So you go to seven, I go to ten? Yup. You go. Whee! Huh. Guess I'm being defensive now. Hmm. He trampled me. Oh dear. I'm gonna hit you for. Okay, I can't. I don't think I can do anything. If 
Okay. Yeah. Go. Go. But it can become indestructible, which is pretty good. Okay, draw. Uh, plus Nessa. Uh, put it in play. Seven, Skimmy, and eight. I'll attack with everything. This guy, well, let's see, is that oh, well, you just be dead if you don't if you block like this because you're at seven because he's a three three right now. He'd become an eight. Oh, eight. I would think he turns into a six six. Now he becomes an eight eight. Uh, okay, block that thing too. Okay, uh, make him an eight eight. Um, so, guy. yeah, so these will die. This dies. Stays alive. One to eighteen. Uh, I trample over for six. So you're at one. I'm at eighteen, and I'll just play. I'll just cast hidden dragon slayer. Go. I'm dead. Go. Oh, my spell set. All right. Um, I'm gonna take out my seeker of the ways. Um, they seem pretty bad. He's just a uh, block on the ground a lot. I really won't. Creatures that naturally get plus one plus one counters, or just are more efficient. Um, I felt a little short of uh, like targeted effects, so I'm gonna bring a couple ordeal of heliod heliods, even though he does have a lot of removal. Um, and Brimaz, I think Brimaz is pretty good. Like, it is bad against Deathmatch Raptor, but it is just good on its own. It, it has to be dealt with, and it's pretty good with Gideon too. If you can just play that and Gideon and just whip it, but I do want to try that interaction more. So hopefully it'll come up. Okay. Okay. Uh, here for what this game four now? Yep. I have a favorite hoplite and protection, so it's probably what any hero cam wants. Uh, my hand is like a little awkward, but I think it's generally a good hand. Okay. Stick on. Sand steps it all your turn. Probably good later. Uh, Defiant strike my guy. Okay. First off. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, three. Seventeen. I don't really care if he kills it. Go. Uh, draw. If he wants to glare, that's okay. Uh, I'm going to fetch a force and cast a policeman, so I get a 16. And that's it for me. Man, that's not weird. Uh, yeah, it's attacking you. Uh, I'm not going to block. Um, I need to hit you for more. No, not really. Right. So, 14? Yeah. Go. Alright. Um, here, I just want to play Anissa so I can search for another land. Okay. And. Really should have fetched the planes with one swift teeth since I have Anissa, but that was a mistake for sure. I'm gonna pass the turn to you. Alright, I'm gonna cast this because I wanna get counter on it. Okay. And I also want to draw land. Oh, it's the best thing is not a land. Okay. Uh I don't think it's worth blocking, I'm just gonna lose my guys, so I'll take it. Sure. So that's going to be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, I'm at 8. Go. Draw. Mm, 
it's kind of awkward. I think I'm just going to cast a Den Protector Sago. Turn, I'm going to try to Valor Stance to the Hoplite. Put a counter on this and fight this. And I'm going to play a morph. And I'll say go. Oh, good card. Okay, now what? I think hitting you for four is pretty key. Four. Go. And not touching up lines with Heath has really cost me a lot this game. So this is a four five? Yep. Huh. I'll put a counter on this and fight it. Um, attack you with these two. Dang. All right, very good. Uh, I will flip up Den Protector. I'll just get back. Hmm. Get back Valor's stance, but maybe it's better. Maybe Dromoka's command's better. But I'll get back the stance. So you're going to take 5, 8. You're at 12. And then I'll scry. And I'll keep it on top. Your turn. I really should have. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna. You, since you haven't done anything yet, I'm actually just gonna get Dromoke's command. I think it's just better than Stance. Uh, right. I don't think. I don't think there's any situation where this is worse. And it can definitely be better. This is six, not yeah, you're you're done board if you do that. Uh, okay, go. 
Uh, draw. Um, put a counter on this and police main flights from us. Sack you. You're at 12, right? Yep. So that's, that's, that's actually only 11, isn't it? Uh, that can't be right then. Uh, yeah, I guess I can only do 11. Sure, that's fine. Okay. So we got one collector company. All right. Two, three, four, five, six. Elvish mistake and Your turn. Cut. Dead to God dwelling. Deck. Bolster. Yep, yeah, better that too. Oh. Alright, we're back for game five, and I'm up. Uh, I could have won that last game, but I just thought I had lethal damage, and I didn't, so. Uh, just If I had just sat on my Dromokus command, I would have pretty easily won. Uh, this hand's pretty good, though, I'm going to keep. Hand's exactly like the last hand. One lander, baby top flight. Let's do it. Go. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'll scry, and I think, hmm. I think I'm going to bottom that, well, maybe I'm supposed to keep this, I will bottom it, return. Expected. Okay. Oh, right, three. Seventeen. Your turn. Alright, so no the old no land special. Scry and keep that on top and I'll exile your favorite top lights. Deck you for one. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Now what? Go. More where that came from. Draw. Alright, and I hope I don't break. Hope you break. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six. Oh, I bricked. Just all my best cards. Okay. <laughs> uh, go. Now what do I do? I don't know. Four cards can't be the album. Am I blocking my favorite hot plate? Unlikely. That pretty much sucks, but that's everything. So I guess I'll pass it because I do want to dodge something. Alright. Taste it. Um I think I'm gonna block. Alright, I'm going to do something, I guess. I'm fine trading or him burning a spell on it. Alright, this card sucks. Okay. Um, does it prevent the da prevent damage to it? Yeah. So I don't you don't I don't gain any life then. That's true. Alright, go. Okay, okay. Go. Come on, deck. Oh. Is that good? Probably not. Sure. Go. 
I'm gonna get the fudge so I get to shuffle all these good cards back into my deck. Just really just every good card in my deck was <laughs> my collected company. Um six map. Alright, I gotta figure out how I wanna play this turn. Um I just wanna do this. I'm just gonna do this. Yeah. Go. Come on, good guard. Ooh, buddy. Um, it's happening. It's going to be a fight. PS God's going, that's just so awkward. Might. I think I'm just going to go for it anyway. Try to go to the Phalanx leader. So we can get a counter on my grim ass. Sure. Uh, cast a morph. Okay, okay. And I'll say go. Whatever. Attack you. Okay. I'll block the cat. Mm. Right. So it's three, seven. Nine. Uh, You're at nine, right? You're at 16? Didn't go? Uh, missed the. But yeah, six, seven, nine. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Hmm. Remember, this is a four, five. Yup. Killable by anything except the Mokus Man. Or you can Raptor it to death. This is a line. Um, I'm not gonna only attack with this. Alright, not blocking. Good. So you're at 16? Yep. Uh. Oh, fight. Oh. Flip this. Oh, okay. Get back, glare. Glare your absent falconer. Good. And cast a warden. Oh, shoot. Yeah, Alright. Go ahead. He's almost done. Can't kill you. Can you chomp some stuff? Or I'll just hit you. Down this crack button here. What is that? 5, 11, 14, 15, and more? Okay. I think I can gamble lightly. Wait. I'm trying to think what happens if you draw a glare, do I die? 10, 16, right? 
3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so I don't know if I have that, so I must die to Dollar Sign School later. Probably. I must put this on that. Then I can live. Oh, wait, you have to block. You have to block this. Oh, and that. Okay. Hang on, I'm going to go. Sure. I'm in front of the. That's good, that's good. I'll make this a seven eight. Is that good? Tackle is just this thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. So it's how big is this? It's. I don't know if you can damage bend it to it. Yeah. It's lethal, I believe, and damage bend to it. Oh no, it's not lethal. So it's four, it's five, six, on that nine. Yeah. Um. Let's go to three, I guess. Okay. Go. Cool. Dead to like a falconer or something anyway, so draw. The last card falconer could be. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll just say go. Oh dear. Oh dear, let me go. Fuck him a lot. I'm gonna attack you. We. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, can't I beat that card. if I were to cast Falconer and attack you, I'd have died. I got, you would hit me for exactly 16. Oh, I would have yeah. blocked one Mystic with my uh, Falconer, and you would have killed this, and then all this stuff would hit me. Yep. Or I guess I could have blocked and lived, but I'd have been dead, surely. All right, we are here for the conclusion. Um, Abzan Falconer. Yeah, Abzan Falconer <laughs> was really good. Uh, basically, I think I would have won like three of those games if he didn't have Falconer. Mm. Uh, basically, like I just had the ground locked up and you just flew over the top. Uh, Falconer seems really good against decks that don't have a lot of removal, like this one. And uh, a lot of my removal is situational too, like Valor Stance and Hidden Dragon Slayer can only kill it some of the time. Yeah, Abzan Charm. Kind of. Yeah. Heresies, sorcery. <clears throat> yep. Um, as for this deck, I felt like Liliana's were not very good. They mm -hmm. just didn't seem that great. Uh, I thought that Nissa was really good, though, actually. Yeah, Nissa looked good. Uh, so I think that uh, Nissa is a card that I want. I would continue to play with in the style of deck. Uh, probably just go back to just being straight green-white, play Nissa's, and... Um, yeah, Nissa looks sweet both as a Planeswalker and a creature. So I was actually impressed with Nissa. Uh, yeah, and Liliana, yeah, didn't seem very good. Yeah, uh, maybe it's just hard to put it in this style of deck. And obviously it's just another 2-2. You have a bunch of little ground creatures and makes a zombie. You don't need it. Yeah, it's just another creature. It, it's just another creature that kind of does the same thing. Uh, I was hoping that the Planeswalker would be more relevant, but uh, it didn't really actually seem that relevant. So, mm -hmm. uh, I guess as for me, uh, Gideon, I guess uh, Kithian, looked pretty good. Um, I was surprised how... Uh, useful the like untap ability from the Planeswalker was, and uh, I guess with like Gleam of Authority and Outlast creatures, it actually is pretty good. Like it's better than just you know attack uh, uh, untap it so I can block. It's actually a little bit more value. Um, Brimaz and Kithian look pretty good, even though it's not. They're just kind of meshing bad or they're just putting together like two good cards, I guess, instead of like really being a part of a heroic shell. Yep. But, uh, yeah, Kithian was definitely better than Solar Pantheon would have been. And this deck actually looks stronger, or feels stronger than it looks on paper. Um, yeah, Absent Falconer was just really, really annoying to deal with. I um, think that, that that's the card that really, like, holds that deck together. Yeah, Glim Authority is good. Um, it's probably better uh, game one than it is the rest of the games. But it's still powerful enough, and it has to be respected. And if it like, stays on the table, we'll just control the board. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, it, that deck seems really weak to, like, control strategies because... You I'm not sure. 
you just have all these cards that don't really like Ordeophilias and Gleam of Authorities <laughs> and things like that that don't seem that great against control decks, but uh, yep. it, did, it did seem really good here in this creature matchup, uh, especially mm -hmm. since I didn't have that much removal. Uh, just just seemed really powerful in that matchup. Um, yeah, I'd be interested to see that deck against uh, like some other decks and see how it plays out against those decks. Uh, as for the, the Collective Company deck, um, yeah, I liked it, but I think that I think Nissa is a great fit, but Liliana isn't, as I said before. But other than that, it's basically the same deck, so mm -hmm. I don't really have that much insight on it beyond that. Warden seems sweet, though, too. I think I thought Warden was good. Some of the lists don't play them. Some some play, like, one or two. Yeah, I think it's better here than it is in, say, Abzan Aggro, that you're trying to get up to, you know, seven mana or so. I think it goes really... It goes hand-in-hand hand with Nissa because you get all this extra mana. Right. You can use it on... You can use it for Fleece Man Lions and Wardens and things like that. Yeah, all your creatures are... So basically mana dumps of one kind or another, which is nice to have. Yep. All right, well, that is all for our video today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let us know in the comments what you thought, and uh, make sure you stay tuned uh, the rest of the week for more videos and articles and the like. Uh, unfortunately, no open series this weekend, but we will be back next weekend with another open. Yep. So. Enjoy the 4th of July. Yep. See ya.